Hello, this is a video about H's for Hawk by Helen MacDonald. This came out in 2014 and won the Costa Book Prize. It is the memoir of a woman who trains a hawk um, to get over the grief of losing her father. Or that's what they want you to think it's about. I disagree. I don't think it's about that at all. I came into this being like, yes, so ready for like someone like deeply hurt and struggling, doing something really crazy that they don't have any idea how to do. And through learning how to do it, they also learn how to manage their grief. Um, love that kind of narrative. Like Wild is one of my favorite <laughs> memoirs ever. And so ready for that book plus some birds. That's just not what's happening here. I feel like grief, while it was a theme, it wasn't the main theme at all. Like I feel like it was quite an underlying sense when really it was more about like, a lot of the things that commonly surround grief, like uh, purpose and having control. Um, I don't feel like most of this book was about her directly confronting her relationship with her father. And on the other side of things, though she's never trained a goshawk before, this woman knows a lot about birds. <laughs> uh, she's been like a falconry nerd since she was a child and has trained loads of other hawks. Um, goshawk is a like particularly uh, difficult, um, breed of hawk to train. Uh, so there is still some struggling and learning in there, but it wasn't like see hapless woman struggle to put her life back together. One element of this book that a lot of reviewers don't like, but I actually thought was a, was a really powerful aspect to it, um, was that uh, as well as telling her own story, um, MacDonald also biographies uh, the author T.H. White. So T.H. White was born in 1906 and died in 1964. He um, was most well known for his Arthurian legends. So he wrote the Sword in the Stone um, that he sold the rights to Disney to. He was a very troubled man. He was like a closeted gay man um, and he really struggled with that. He was abused as a child and then went on to sort of like abuse people as an adult. But like mostly he was quite like a sympathetic, um, like sad character. And the reason he's featured so heavily in this is that um, he wrote a book that came out in 1951 called The Goshawk, which was his um, first-hand experience trying and failing to train a goshawk. She is so haunted by his failure and his struggles. And there's this, this duality between them, the whole book of, I can't believe that he was so unaware and so untuned to his animal. And she kind of puts this pressure on herself of, of being like, if I'm a good hawk trainer, then I'm a good person. Which means that everything like gets bound up in her ability to train this hawk. She puts an insane amount of pressure on herself and then really chastises herself when she like does something wrong, like underfeeds or, or overfeeds her. And, um, and you can just like see and feel her like trying not to become the myth of this man that she's always been sort of fascinated by, but like afraid of his story. I thought this book was kind of like, okay, until about like two thirds, three quarters of the way through where she kind of has this reckoning with herself and a lot of things that have been sort of like un under the narrative, like not said explicitly, um, come to the surface as she admits to herself that she has depression and that her um, like she's been channeling all of her focus into this hawk to ignore a lot of other things that need to be addressed in her life. Like that's the grief, but it's also like her living situation um, and her work situation. And I think when she starts being honest with herself about her own like failures and relinquishing that sort of like perfectionism, the duality with T.H. White is, is really interesting because she kind of like is a lot more accepting of like what happened to him and sympathetic of, of him. And in accepting like White and his failure to train his goshawk and ultimately lose his goshawk, she's a lot more forgiving of, of herself. So much of the book, she's kind of like hiding from the reader, her sort of state of mind and how fragile she feels. Um, and using like the metaphor of this, this bird, which I'm sure she was doing in her own brain of being like, what all that matters is the hawk. Um, and then when she finally like releases and kind of like accepts that she's been telling that story to herself and then she starts telling that story to us, um, it just, it, it really enriches the rest of the book. One more element of this book that I really loved was her talking about 
like becoming the hawk like when she was so in the depths of all of her mental time was was focused on training this bird it was sort of extremely parental but also kind of like feral like she almost became the bird more than the bird became her and hearing about how she kind of was so like attuned to its impulses um and about that that kind of like strange relationship that's it's hard to describe um that there aren't very many parallels for, for something like that passages where she focused on that i found extremely compelling so this has been a video about H's for Hawk by Helen MacDonald. Um, I did end up liking it quite a lot once I relinquished the kind of book I wanted it to be. Um, I thought there was there was a lot going for it. And also you do learn a lot about birds. <laughs> like I uh, didn't know much about birds. I've seen a bit of Valkyrie before, but that's it. And um, yeah, that that was an interesting aspect of it. I have a, I bought a book a few months ago called The Meaning of Birds, which is just all about birds. Don't particularly care about birds. I just like to know about random things um, and this has made me be like you need to read that bird book you need to know more about birds <laughs> like anything if you're reading from the perspective of someone that's really into something it's just going to be infectious because like people aren't into stuff that sucks they're into stuff that's interesting if you learn about it in the right way um so anyway i'm gonna stop talking about birds <laughs> i hope you've enjoyed this video i feel like everyone read this book like the year after it came out and i was like ah, don't want to read that and then for the last year I've been like you know what I really want to read that bird book but <laughs> I feel like Helen MacDonald wouldn't appreciate me calling it a bird book instead of falconry um but I mean they're all just birds aren't they as am I if you've read this book let me know what you thought about it and I'll see you in the next one bye